Hey, it's Arit here from Esatino Media, helping you create profitable content. And in today's video, I have a really cool book to share with you. I just reread it for the second time. It's called The Celestine Prophecy by James Redfield. So in this video, I'll share my thoughts on it, what it's about and who it's for, so you can make a good decision on whether to get it or not. So let me start off by saying The Celestine Prophecy is a fiction novel but it can also be seen as a self-help or personal development book disguised as a fiction novel. I think one of the Amazon reviewers or one of the reviews on Amazon said it perfectly. She said that depending on your personal preference, it can be read as an adventure story, a man on a journey searching for a meaning, or as a self-help book, a book that might just open your mind to an alternative view of life and how to live it. So. I just wanted to specifically read that out because it's exactly what I experienced with this book. I, this book was recommended to me by one of my early business mentors uh, nine years ago. I got it. He said, read, read this book. Uh, it's going to change the way you look at things. I read it. And at the time, you know, I thought it was a really good book because it's about the story is about a main character who goes on a journey to Peru because they found a manuscript in Peru, an ancient manuscript in Peru that talks about different spiritual insights for how human humankind has evolved. And so the story is about this character in pursuit of the, the manuscript and the contents of that manuscript to really understand his own spiritual awakening and all these questions that, that he had in a certain transitional period of his life. It has this element of, of adventure. Um, I personally have always really been into psychology and mysteries and understanding how the universe works and all that kind of stuff. So at the time when I first read it, I thought it was pretty cool. It was exciting to read and definitely thought provoking in terms of a different way of viewing life and thinking about life. But I recently felt called like about a month ago to pick up this book again. It, I had it in my library and so I read it again. And this second time around, I can tell you that it's been transformative for me in the way that I think, in my behaviors, and in the way that I see things. And I think that happened because over the span of the last nine years, I've experienced so many different things that has really made me believe there's a lot more to how this world works and a lot more to those coincidences and synchronicities that happen for us in our day-to-day -day lives. There's a lot more to the way energy works and the way that we relate to one another as humans or even the way we relate to the objects and the environments around us. So when I read this book, I've, I realized that I've already experienced five or six out of these insights that were found in the manuscript in Peru within the story. And yes, I know it's a fiction novel, but the intention of the author, I read a couple of articles and the intention of the article is really he wrote this book to educate and to open the reader's eyes to a new way of thinking. And he put it in a story so and a narrative so that we could better understand it. So if you like books like Ask and It Is Given or The Secret, which talks a lot about the law of attraction or any other book out there about the law of attraction, another book is The Alchemist. If you like these types of books, then you will appreciate The Celestine Prophecy. If you've never heard of any of those books and you're just, you know, this is the first one that's kind of come across your lap that you're thinking of getting, I will say that it's it's not a book for spiritual people or it's not a book it doesn't matter whether you're spiritual or not it's really something that i think if you're if you're someone who's explore who likes to explore the meaning of life and the way the universe works and how we evol have evolved as humans and where we're going as a species a lot of those deeper questions that we don't typically ask ourselves day to day then i think you'll really appreciate this book. I, I encourage you to get it. I'm going to put some links in the description below as well if you are interested in buying it on Amazon. This book is for the person who believes there's more out there in terms of 
a spiritual force that's guiding us. And I'm not talking about any particular one religion here. I think that's that's one of the things that I like a lot about this book is that he really breaks down how we as humans, as individuals, can become more aware, can become more conscious, can become more spiritually evolved and enjoy our life, our time here on this planet without favoring any particular one religion. In fact, it's it, it goes by certain insights that a lot of religions talk about in their own ways. Bottom line, you have to be open-minded when reading this book, or I, I will say you'll think it's dumb. The gold of this book isn't in the character development or the, the, the story or anything like that. The gold is in the discovery of these insights within the manuscript and really getting to understand them from an objective point of view, but also from the point of view from the character. And when you take those insights that are found and apply them to your own life, then you'll really start to see that it's more than just a novel, but it can really be like a manual for life in terms of living happier and healthier lives. That might sound crazy because it is listed as a fiction novel, but I invite you to pick it up, read it, make your own decisions, come to your own opinions and see what you think. This is one of those books where it has a different meaning each time you read it. There's a million different things that you could take out of this book or not, and it really depends where you are in your life. So if you're interested in getting The Celestine Prophecy, the link is in the description below. And if you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up so it lets YouTube know that it's helpful content for our viewers. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.